Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Studio Update. I've been getting a lot of comments that I need to use a tripod for those studio updates, and BAM! I've always had a tripod. I got it for free when I uh, wheeled and dealed for this camera. So I will uh, stick it on that tripod and do this studio update so people will stop messaging me. Ha! <laughs> so one sec. Okay, so here we go. I've got a couple things to show off and then I'll get a couple closer, closer views. Um, dry brushed I mean I haven't got a, I got a dry brush up my bridge here it fell apart got to put it together just been working at the mini war gaming hobby shop on their dark potential table I'm gonna bring the camera there for the end of this studio update and uh, film what I've been doing and what Chris got done before I started on the project and this is uh, for client HH I know I sent you a message saying hills, but I know they're cliffs. So this is basically, I cut these out with my hot wire foam cutter. I'm going to put um, sculpt mold on the outside and it'll basically make a nice rock face. And so it'll be a rock face on the outside. There'll be hardboard on the bottom. I got a good eighth inch hardboard. And there'll be a little lip around here. So I'll be able to put rocks and stuff and a little bit of foliage down on the bottom. Um, it'll probably be about a half inch around each one. So you can see you want to and just sit on top of each other. So these guys are about the size that'll make them. And I'll grab. Here's a big. There's a big troll. It's a large uh, 50 millimeter base. I had to cut another one, but I ran out of two inch foam. I need to go get to some from the hardware store. And this is for client A M. The base is completely done. I'm just waiting on getting another thing done. I will get uh, a close-up of this in a second. Just showing. I have the small tree here. Um, conifer tree there. There's a space to walk your miniatures through there. All these trees are removable. A large deciduous tree. And then a dead conifer there. And then you have that small space there. It's large enough to fit a 40 millimeter um, war machine miniature. The base is hanging off, but if you place him in there and he's not top or front heavy or anything, or he's front heavy facing backwards, he'll fit in there. And a small miniature 30 millimeter base will definitely fit in there. And the top that I was working on has been finished. I was just this is wet paint right now because I was just free handing these. Um, eagles or whatever they are for the uh, Signar shields so I got two of them there this is going to be the finished version of close up of this so I basically just free handed it I came and gave it a wash and I picked out the rivets with a um, felt pen sorry I'm grabbing in front of the camera I got that felt pen there or pigment liner whatever so this guy will sit, sit like that, and that'll be the whole building. So I'm gonna zoom in here, and I'll be back in a sec. So the whole building can't be in the shop because I'm zoomed in so far, but you can see the closer look at the texture here, the different dry brushing I've done, the sand texture on the bottom, um, some foliage around the trees, the building shaking because it's not attached and then those trees will be sitting sitting back behind in the shadow of that building so it's a nice little piece I could definitely make more pieces to add to the set if that's what the client wants but this is the, the piece so far I'm gonna zoom in one more time on my finished uh, freehand shield there so here's a close-up look at the shield. You can just see the weathering that I did. And uh, I'm not the greatest freehand artist. And I was working on the side of a building. So that's what I could come up with. That piece is the broken shield. The other shields I'm not going to show because they're not finished. But that's the idea. And then there's three, three shields on the whole piece. To make it a Signar building, the roof is blue. So that's that. 
Uh, other than that, I've been working, I said, at the mini wargaming store. I'll show that at the end of this video. And, uh, yeah. So that'll be next. Also, I guess I, uh, I poured some resin in some of my ponds. And I'm going to pour another set tonight. Uh, that I'll dye um, a muddy color for my swamps. So that's what I've been doing at the studio. And I'll show you what I've been doing at the club. So I'm at the mini wargaming shop. I'm at the back. I'm in the studio area for uh, building terrain. And um, this is the board that Chris from mini wargaming started but couldn't finish. So I'm contracting to take over. And so what he had got done is basically built the board, put the foam on top, started this road. I'm going to redo this road. I'm redoing these sidewalk pavers. Too big in my opinion. I came in and put this, it's going to be an entrance to a park that will be here and a subway entrance. I mocked up this subway. I'm sorry I'm on the tripod. It's too big for my tripod right now. So this is the subway entrance sign. Just some uh, plastic card and sticks. And then this is the large building that Chris got done. There's a large tree that's going to be busting out of the top. And then this is the building I got done today. It's the back. It's not fully done. Unlike that building which is close to being done. So this is the shot from here. Got a little bit of water down here. A little bit of like a park or something. The two streets. And what's going to be here is a landslide came through. So the landslide came through. Bust out the, the building. There's going to be a staircase leading up to that door. Uh, I gotta put in the rest of my windows. Ran out of this facade, so the facade will run all the way around. And uh, that's about that. So that's where I got so far. I'm building up some trees. Over there, I have some la lamp, lamp posts and telephone wires that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I have a whole bunch of bits. This is gonna be a super highly detailed piece. It's for display display purposes. So I'm uh, putting a lot of effort into it, and I'll have a few videos of it. I'm unsure if I'm even allowed to do this, so sneaky, sneaky peek. Um, this is for the Dark Potential game that Matt and Mini War Game is, re is releasing. So thanks for watching. I'll have a lot more videos to come. And please subscribe.